Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I made an electronics tray for the inside hull of my kayak. Now I'll be doing this on a Crescent Light Tackle kayak, but it's applicable to other different kayaks as well. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is my electronics board and I'll go over the parts on this and then I'll go ahead and hook everything up and test it. To start off with, all my components are mounted on this 12 by 16 inch poly cutting board that you can get anywhere. And then what's going to hold my 12 volt battery in is these two pieces here of one inch aluminum angle and it's 1 16th of an inch thick. And the reason it's wider on this side is because this is going to span the whole base of the battery and it's going to be lying on its side and since the posts are going to be closest to the board to hook up to these electronic pieces this piece is shorter and the reason it's shorter it's going to fit between the two posts of the battery to make sure there's no chance of anything shorting out and then I also use this outdoor rated rubber insulation that I covered up the bolts and it'll make the battery fit a little bit more snug and help insulate it from any kind of damage. Then I also have my 50 amp circuit breaker here and on the other side I have this marine rated fuse box which I'll use to connect my 12 volt power plug for my fish finder as well as a USB power port in order to charge my phone or something else. And in the center here, I have my Wireless Trolling Pro PWM. And I'm going to turn it over on the back here and show you. Oh, and before I forget, I also have this strap that we'll use to hold the battery firmly in place. So when I flip it over, you're going to see my bolts down here. And the reason they're centered like they are it's because, and I'll show you a little bit later in the video, the edges are going to be riding on the inside of the hull of the kayak. So I wanted to make sure that none of these bolts would cause any kind of damage, and that's why they're centered. And then, of course, I just have this battery strap bracket in here to hold everything in place. This is the inside view of the hull up in the front where I'm going to place the electronics tray. And it's going to set across these two areas of the kayak which will support it and then I'm also going to put some pool noodles in here just to help supporting the weight as well and then I'll put two small pieces of outdoor rated velcro strips in there just to hold it in place and then what that will allow me to do is just lift up the tray with the battery slide it out a little bit to remove the battery for charging Okay, so I have everything hooked up and I'm using a smaller testing battery right now just because it's easier to move everything around. But I've got my trolling motor hooked up, my fish finder plug hooked up, as well as my USB port plug hooked up. So everything looks like it's a go and I'll show you what I have. Okay, so you can see that my fish finder is working along with the through hull transducer install. And then over here I have my power plug for the fish finder and you can see the lights on so that's working. And what's great about this little setup here is I only have to drill three little holes. Two to attach it to the face of this and then one small hole for the wiring that goes to the fuse box. So you don't have to cut out one of those big one inch plus holes like you normally do for something like this. And then I'm going to show you the USB port which is also a surface mounted port so I didn't have to drill a big hole. This is where I installed the surface mount for my dual USB port. And you drop it down here and you can see that I have my two inputs. And this also only needed three small holes to be drilled 
two for the plate, and then one small one for the wiring to go through. Again, you don't have to cut a big diameter hole like you would normally do with other ports. And I have this set up so it hides in the recessed area behind my tool bag where I can keep my cell phone and then charge it up very easily. This is where I place the power plug for the trolling motor, right here. And the wiring runs through the hole and connects to the battery through the circuit breaker. And then this is the plug that's going to be attached to the input power for the trolling motor. And right now I have it all done with jumpers, so I can just test to make sure everything works well. And I'll be able to run the wiring in this well when I hook up the final version of this, and it'll still sit under anything I want to put in the storage area so it won't cause a problem. Okay, so the final test now is going to be to see if my remote and my power hookup works for the trolling motor. So I'm going to grab the remote and just watch the prop and you'll see. So everything on my electronic tray works as it should, so now I can put in the permanent connections. This is the final installation with all the electronics and my Group 27 battery. Now it's pushed back there because I pull out the battery tray a little bit, then I'm able to set it down and push it back. And it sits in there very nicely. It's not going anywhere. And while I was doing this, I decided to make the battery connections quick connects. So I put together two SAE waterproof connectors, each that will power my accessories into my fuse box, and the other will power my trolling motor. That way, when I'm done and I want to disconnect the battery, all I have to do is disconnect these two things, move the tray forward, and I can lift the battery out and leave all my electronics inside. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.